Continuing our coronavirus pandemic coverage tonight, new concerns raised about the safety of inmates inside Riverside County jails. A class action lawsuit filed against the county and a judge this week saying the sheriff's department has not done enough to stop the spread of the coronavirus. News Channel 3's Jake Ingracia joins us live from home tonight breaking down this lawsuit. And Jake, this advocacy group who filed the lawsuit is really pushing the sheriff to find a solution to stop the spread. Yeah, Karen, good evening. And the Sheriff's Department says they're already doing everything they can to keep people healthy inside county jails. A federal judge this week disagreeing and that uh, inmate advocacy group saying tonight that prisoners' lives are on the line. We don't believe and we are not considering this any type of uh, jail emergency that we are not handling. We believe that we have this contained at the moment as the number of infected inmates in Riverside County jails reaches 103, at least 55 sheriff's deputies sickened, and these two sheriff's deputies killed by coronavirus. This class action lawsuit now being brought against the county by inmate advocacy group, the Prison Law Office. Attorney Sarah Norman is leading the charge. These are people who are in these very small spaces, very crowded in together. Many are elderly, many have pre-existing medical conditions. They're really vulnerable to getting seriously ill or dying of the virus. She says proper social distancing and even sometimes basic hygiene are impossible in crowded jails. Conditions prime for disastrous spread of disease. Riverside County Sheriff Chad Bianco says appropriate measures are being taken. We've done everything we can to to clean, to add extra cleaning uh, with masks and gloves and hand sanitizer. But after reviewing the sheriff's department's plan, a federal judge saying this week enough has not been done to stop the spread. Writing defendant did not have information regarding conditions in the existing county jail facilities, insisted that moving prisoners to a newly completed empty jail in Indio was not feasible, and admitted that it had not researched alternative housing options such as recreation centers, halfway houses, and hotels. The prisoner advocacy group calling for low-level inmates reaching the ends of their sentences to be set free to reduce jail crowding. Why can't you let people go earlier? Give them a fighting chance to escape the virus. The sheriff saying this. If you don't want to get catch this virus while you're in custody, don't break the law. That, that's really all I can tell you. And the sheriff's department now ordered to engage in mediation with the prison law group to come up with a plan that meets the judge's requirements. That mediation session uh, and or hearing rather set to be tomorrow. Reporting live tonight, Jake Gracia, News Channel 3.